This is uh, my review for Matthew C. The Alpha. This one is the instruction manual, the student text, and you can also purchase the tests and quizzes. Tests and quizzes are given once a week. To see you an idea of what's inside each lesson that is going to be covered. There is also a DVD that you watch for each lesson before the beginning of each lesson for the child. And these are the different levels of math you see. So you see it starts off with the um, primer, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and then it moves on from there. And I'm just going to flip through these pages. Let's see. Now uh, we'll go ahead on to lesson uh, nine here, just so you can get an idea of what this looks like. Lesson nine, it um, gives the instructions to the, um, to the teacher, to the parent, to be able to teach this. And then this lesson is teaching about mental math. And then it talks to you so that you can explain and teach it to your child um, just the basics and you know at their level you know however it is that your child learns so like for example here it'll say I like to introduce this with a short narrative about how nine isn't content because he wants to be ten as most nine-year-olds how they want to be and they say ten children understand mr. nine Ness asks what does nine have to add? What, I'm sorry. What does nine need to have added to him to be ten? One unit. Nine is therefore always on the prowl, looking for one more so he can be ten. Using a nine bar and several green unit bars, let's create the equation nine plus five. Ham it up with any way you can. Perhaps having the student look away and close his eyes in that instant nine takes one to be ten and so then it gives the example of nine plus five and you'll see that they have nine of the white units and then there's five shaded they take away one which will then make it ten and then what's remaining is four so then you end up with your answer in the end and you'll see here nine plus five is equal to ten plus 4 or 14. Um, they give these different concepts so that the child is able to understand that there is more than one way to complete um, this math equation. There are more that's here. If you just add it to, you have your 10 plus 12 and you just do them in the column starting from right to left. Um, so they teach the way in grouping as well as um, breaking it down for the uh, child to understand how to get to where they need to. And let me go ahead and turn the page. Okay, and then they also teach mental math. So the more they do it, the easier and faster they will become when they see these numbers. It will come a lot easier to them. So just so you can see this looks. And again, these are the, um, this is the uh, teacher's manual and it gives you uh, the guide to being able to teach this, teach this to your child along with having the DVDs um, to help your child. Now, the student text, this is what the student text looks like. So, we can go to number nine. It goes from A to F before it goes to the next lesson. And there is a total of 30 lessons in um, this book. So you'll see here, it starts out with teaching this. It goes 
uh, to match up. I'm sorry. It says, build, match, write, and say. The first one is done for you. You will need this. You will need to turn your book sideways to complete this. So, for number one, you have nine plus eight. And then it, of course, because you've already have gone through the other lessons we're teaching about grouping, they know that we're gonna make this 10, and then plus seven, which is gonna give us the answer of 17. In the complete lesson, they're gonna have a couple of other one, other, uh, math equations here that they're going to have to match up and put together by counting and we also have number blocks here which I should have had out um, so they can use this and this helps them like this would be the 10 block so they would use that and they know that that is 10 and they just add to it, and then that's how they come up with their math um, equation. So it come, when you order your math, you see it comes with, um, you can order everything that you need to complete your lesson. And then, that was the front page. This is the second page, build and write and say. And this is, again, um, leading from the primer. It ended from there and then it picks up from here because it started with the um, addition and beginning with subtraction. But because Matthew C teaches to mastery, they want you're going to see a lot from what was previous there um, in the next one because they want to make sure that it is continuing to be covered and it's not forgotten. So that is there, so you can get an idea of what's here. Um, and then you have your word problems. Now, remember, you have, you go from A to F. So, Monday, that would be our lesson. Tuesday, this would be our lesson. Okay? Wednesday, this would be our lesson. Thursday, this would be our lesson. And it's not as colorful as Singapore. And I think I think I'm on Thursday. <laughs> I lost count. But yeah, this should be Thursday because we're on E. I think. Thursday or Friday <laughs> and then F will be our final our final day and then once we complete this one then they would do a test a quiz um, to see where they are and it will combine everything from 9a to 9f and then you start over on 10. And again, it just continues on and builds up to the child, for the child um, to get to mastery. And as your lessons continue, your word problems increase as well that I noticed on here. And I'm sorry, it's kind of myself. Late. Please forgive me. It is late, and um, I just wanted to make sure I got this done so I can return my uh, this book back to my friend. But like I said, I just wanted you to see what was on here for Matthew C. And this is the alpha version. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please um, leave a comment. Thank you.